Hey guys, Griffin back from the Retro Rebellion, and today I'm going to go about uh, painting uh, and putting a window in this Xbox 360. I'm just going to do a little bit, uh, not step-by-step tutorial, -step but just like documentary and any sort of problems I had so that anyone who's watching um, won't have those problems. So if we just get right into this, uh, this is the same Xbox that I had just fixed in the last video uh, with the disk drive spindle getting, getting stuck. So just take take the case off. You're, you're only going to need this case, uh, this side of the case. Hold on. You're only going to need this side of the case and it's going to come in with it uh, a piece of metal RF shielding in it like, in, like there. Um, you're going to have to take that out and what I found was the easiest was taking a drill with an 11 fourths bit and drilling out on the metal shield there's like two little white uh let's see whereabouts was that I was like here here and here something like right there right there and they're just little like white dots and you just drill it out and it came out uh pretty like it just came off really easy after I got the first one the other one just kind of uh, pulled off so you're going to want to mark um, where you want to put your window or windows or uh, anything like that. So for me to do that, I have this ruler and a pencil just so I can erase um, whatever kind of issues I have. I'm just going to kind of make it... Okay, so I'm back now with a pencil that has a tip. actually has a tip on it. So I'm going to mark in one inch from the top and one inch from the bottom so that I can make a straight line and I know it's going to be straight and uh, not like um, diagonal or anything So that will give us a nice, how long is it? Six, six and a half inches exactly uh, window. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. I could just make one big window and then have, like, just one big window and put LEDs and stuff in it. Or I could make two windows and keep the Xbox 360 where it says Xbox 360. So... I actually think I'm going to if I use this circle from this uh, solder then I can make a nice curve there and oh, that's a little bit too there and a curve there so I can um, so that's basically uh, how I think I want it to look I'm not sure if you can see the pencil too good okay yeah, there you go about how there's a half circle right here and a, or just pretty much just a curve um, so that when I cut it out, it's going to be just curved on one end, uh, opposite on either. And the Xbox 360 uh, wording is still going to be showing through. So, okay, so now you're going to need some sort of uh, Dremel with a sanding tool. I have a better one, but I'm not exactly sure where it is. I think I lent it to one of my friends. But you could just use these disc ones because it's just plastic. It's very, very thin. And you're basically just going to want to cut a rough outline of... Um, your squares, then we're going to sand it out so it make it look real nice. Uh, this Dremel is actually like $10 at Harbor Freight, so they're, they're wicked cheap. If this is only a one speed one, I'm positive it's just going to work, it's going to work fine. Uh, so yeah, I take back what I said before, uh, this $10 Dremel is definitely not going to cut it. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to find my other one, but 
Uh, yep, the Harbor Freight ten dollar on sale clearance Dremel. No go on this project. Okay, hi guys, back again. Um, I have the Xbox here and I have a new uh, Dremel. So we're gonna go back to where we were before. I tried to use the other Harbor Freight one for a little bit longer and that didn't work out too well. So I'm gonna continue with using this uh, one on speed. It's like three, three and a half. This is multi speeds, which is good. And the Harbor Freight one was only single speed. So basically, I'm just gonna do a rough outline of my square and then we'll go from there. So next thing you want to do is take off your cutting bit and get a sanding, you can use either a sanding wheel or a uh, grinding bit. I'm just going to use sanding wheel for this example. these wheels they just fit right over this piece of rubber and basically what you're going to want to do is just try to sand use the Dremel and try to use it on low I'm guessing so don't go too far but get it as close to your line as possible you don't have to get perfect because you're going to go around with a piece of sandpaper afterwards but that's basically what you're going to want to try to do
so now I went at, um, it was like 4 or 5 speed, and I got kind of close to where I want to be. Um, so now I'm going to go at a lower speed, maybe like 2 or 3 or something. And I'm going to get right up to the line, maybe not exactly, but enough um, where it's almost done. Uh, so if you've been following the tutorial, it should look uh, somewhat like mine. The lines are... I'm not sure if you can tell, but they're not like completely straight or anything. Um, the next thing we're going to do is take a piece of sandpaper. This is this is 220 grit. Um, and just going to go around uh, the edges until it's nice and really smooth and straight. Okay, so if you take a look and see what I did to this bottom uh, edge, you can see that it's it's not exactly straight, like if you look at it, you know it's not going to be exactly straight, but uh, for the most part I did it right up to the pencil mark, and you're going to want to do that to all uh, four corners, uh, I'm gonna, or all four sides, I'm going to uh, come back to you and when that's done. Hey guys, as you can see I finished uh, the, the bottom half, um, sorry someone's vacuuming upstairs, sorry about that. but. Basically, we're almost ready for paint. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of sandpaper. Let me just cut a piece. I'm using 220 grit, which I don't think is really necessary. You could use a lot of thicker stuff, but this is what I have. So I'm going to use it. This is wet dry. You could use it either wet or dry. Wet, it's going to take a lot less time lot less uh, sandpaper to actually sand, but I do not want to get water everywhere, so I'm just going to use some dry stuff. And basically what you're going to want to do is um, sand down everything. Sand down this, sand down the uh, cover pieces, sand it, take out all this stuff. I don't know really actually know how to take out the power button, but for everything else, there's just a little spring in there, and if you take a little micro screwdriver, um, I can get in there. See, there's this, there's this little spring right there, and you can just prime up. And I, I'm using this dish to keep them in. I don't know where I got it, but it's useful. And then these other parts, they just. They should just snap off. Yeah, they just snap off and sand down those as well. So, yep, I'm gonna be doing that right now. And. I'll catch you uh, when I have all the pieces and parts, because I'm pretty sure you don't want to see me just stripping down everything and sanding. So, okay, see you then. Uh, this is what I got for paint. I got some Krylon purple. That's going to be all the accessories, like the fan shroud, DVD cover, uh, these plates, and the memory card buttons and stuff. I have some just normal primer. This was like 99 cents at Walmart. These were like 3 or $4 a can or something. And then just some black for the rest of it. Uh, this is crown for you. So, I guess I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna put a quick coat of primer over everything, let that sit for a few minutes, and then get into painting everything else. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna um, go and uh, when the, I'll come back when this is dry, and I'm gonna put on the other coats. So see you then. Hi guys, back again. Sorry, it started to rain. I had to bring everything inside. Um, but right now I'm gonna do all the accent pieces. Uh, there's something going on with the DVD cover, so I think that's just because it's metal that it has to dry longer. But um, the these side pieces, the DVD cover, and the other uh, like memory slot and USB slots, and the fan shroud. I have already, I had already done the DVD button. Like I just want to see how it would come out. I'm not sure if you could tell, but that it's looking really good. I think it's gonna be a really great color. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go paint these things that I have on the table. And yeah, I'm gonna probably speed it up and
Anyway, I'm gonna let this all dry. Um, or at least dry enough so I can get a second coat on there. This thing is probably gonna need it. And uh, do the undersides of all this stuff so it doesn't look like there's any uh, gray at all in it. Okay, so yeah, see you then. Okay, so I have the purple stuff drying over there and then I have this black stuff uh, where I'm gonna be painting black right here. So I figured I could do a little bit of two at once almost. Now that stuff drying and then this stuff drying at the same time. Hold on, see what I'm Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, other than that, I may come back, um, hit probably the bottom part or something like that, and hit probably with a clear coat. But other than that, it's done. So I'll show you how to put in the. Uh, this is where I'm gonna cut off the painting part. I'm gonna show you how to put in the window and that uh, in here next.